right, in this color grading hack, I'm gonna show you how to add a quick golden pop to your images by using the gradient tone and balance method in Photoshop. And so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new gradient map adjustment layer, but we won't be using any of these default presets. We're gonna be using a special gold preset, which can be found by clicking into Window, Gradients. Then clicking into this little drop down right over here and making sure Legacy Gradients is checked. Let's now click back into the gradient map window and scroll down to the legacy gradients folder. Click into this folder and then click into photographic toning where you'll find the gold one preset. Hit OK, then change the blending mode to soft light and reduce the opacity down to around 23%. Next, let's create a color balance adjustment layer so as to boost and refine our golden hues even more by clicking into the midtones and increasing the warmer reds and yellows slightly, and then doing the same for the highlights. Next up, let's add in a curves adjustment layer and create a bit of an S curve to make those golden tones pop. And finally, let's throw in an HSL adjustment layer to increase the saturation slightly, as well as to subtly shift the reds toward yellow to further build upon our golden color palette. And so with that, let's go ahead and group all our layers together and take a look at a before and after, before and after. In this hack, I'm gonna show you how to create deeper and richer colors in areas of your photo that might be lacking due to being a bit faded, washed out, or even blown out from bright light exposure. And the best part is we're gonna be using some of the existing tones in frame so as to enhance our photo's colors in the most natural way possible. And so enough talking about it and let's dive right into our first step, which is to create a solid color overlay. Hit okay for now, and then click into the layer mask and hit command I to invert it. Double click back into the adjustment thumbnail and then automatically this color selection box and color picker tool will appear. Click into the area of color that you wish to enhance, come back into the color selection box and drag this point downwards to make it darker and deeper in tone and then to the right to increase its color richness and saturation. Hit OK, then change the blending mode to soft light and then reduce the opacity to around 80%. Click back into the layer mask thumbnail and then using a soft white brush, slowly start to paint in this solid color adjustment over the affected area in your image, which in this case happens to be the brown floor surrounding Andrea. And there you have it, a simple yet effective way to quickly boost color richness and depth in areas of your photo that might be looking a little pale, dull, or washed out. In this tip, I'm going to show you a color grading hack that will effectively boost your photo sharpness whilst making your model pop and look more 3D. It achieves this by simultaneously boosting both the tonal and color contrast in your photo, which not only makes your image look sharper and more crisp, but also boosts subject separation, thereby making your subject pop out from the background and look more 3D. So without further ado, let's dive into our first step, which is to create a color balance adjustment layer to pour in some cooler tones into the shadows. This includes some blues and a little bit of magenta. This not only helps to boost tonal contrast by darkening the shadows, but will also help to enhance the color contrast and pop between the model and the background. In our next step, let's go ahead and boost this color contrast even further by creating a new selective color adjustment layer click into the reds to target the skin, and then proceed to warm up the skin color by dragging the cyan slider to the left. Let's also reduce the magentas as well as the yellow slightly, just for a bit of color correction to get the skin tones looking more natural. And while we're here in the selective color tab, let's also go ahead and jump into the blues and augment them by dragging the yellow slider to the left. Now it's time to add in a proper boost to our photo's tonal contrast, and to do that, let's first create an exposure adjustment layer and then slide this dial to the right to increase the photo brightness all throughout the image. Let's double click into this layer and then go down to this blend if section so as to remove some of this brightening effect from the shadows in the photo whilst keeping the highlights nice and bright. The blend if tool is a fantastic feature to use if you want next level surgical control when applying any kind of contrast boosting effect to your image. Finally, let's add in a hue and saturation adjustment layer and boost all of the colors in frame by shifting the saturation slider to the right. Let's also increase the saturation of the reds specifically so as to further enhance the subject separation whilst making the model pop. 
And so this is a great color grading hack or shortcut that you can use to boost your photo sharpness whilst making your image pop and look more 3D. In this hack, I'm gonna teach you an incredibly useful little trick that you can use to match the skin tones on different parts of your model's body. Uneven skin color can often emerge as you build your edit and apply more and more detailed adjustments to your image. Ensuring even skin tones across the entirety of your model's body and face is an absolutely essential part of creating more complete and natural looking edits. And so the first thing we want to do is create a new blank layer and hit B for the brush tool, which we will be using to paint in some brighter and warmer tones into the hands so as to match the color temperature in Francesca's face. With the brush tool selected, let's go ahead and hold Alt or Option to bring up the color picker and select a color from the face, like so. Change the blending mode to soft light and reduce the opacity to around 23%. From here, you can slowly start to paint in this new color over your model's hands alone. Next, it's time to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Click on the layer mask, invert it, and then using a soft white brush, start to paint in this layer's visibility over the model's hands alone. From here, go ahead and use the color picker tool and make a selection in the hands. This should automatically select the reds. Next, let's go ahead and drag the lightness slider to the right to brighten up the hands since they're looking a little dark. Let's also drag the saturation slider to the right to restore some of the lost color. Let's also adjust the hue slider slightly to get the skin color looking even closer to that of our model's face. In step three, we're gonna add in a color balance adjustment layer. Let's copy over the layer mask we created below by holding Alt and clicking and dragging it over and onto our color balance layer. Make sure the midtones are selected and then feel free to adjust these three sliders until the skin color in Francesca's hands match even more closely to that of the skin tones in her face. And there you have it, the three-step formula for matching skin tones using the adjust and refine method. In this hack, I'm going to teach you the local adjust and global boost color grading method, which you can use to create some detailed, beautiful, and highly controlled color adjustments to your images. The first step is all about making some very subtle selective color adjustments to different objects and elements in frame, and then to boost all the colors in frame at once by making them pop using Photoshop's camera raw filter. And so beginning with the yellow pillow, let's go ahead and apply the exact same gold one gradient map preset that we used in hack number one. Now, using an inverted layer mask and a soft white brush, let's paint in this gradient map into the pillow alone. Change the blending mode to soft light and then drop the fill, not the opacity, to about 30%. Next, let's target the wall backdrop and enrich some of the red and magenta tones in the bricks by mixing in some purple paint into this area using the brush tool. And to do this, let's go ahead and create a new blank layer and then click into the foreground color picker and select purple. Once selected, hit B for the brush tool and drop the brush opacity to around 80%. And then proceed to dab this purple color over the red bricks alone, like so. Change the blending mode to overlay and then drop the layer opacity to around 40%. Following this, I then repeated these exact same steps for the white bed sheets, except this time I decided to paint in some cooler blues to help balance out the photo's dominant warmer tones. With that done, my next step was to warm up the red tones in Sarah's skin and in the background. And to do that, I created a selective color adjustment, targeted the reds, and moved forward with a boost to the red pixels by reducing the cyans to negative 25. Let's also reduce the magentas as well as the yellow slightly, just for a bit of color correction to get the skin tones looking more natural. And so with our photo selective color adjustments complete, let's go ahead and turn back on our skin retouching and move forward with our next step, which is to boost all the colors in the entirety of our image at once by creating a stamp of all visible underlying layers, then converting the layer to a smart object so as to work non-destructively, and then click into filter, camera raw filter. From here, let's go ahead and drag the white balance slider to negative 18. Next, let's crush the blacks to negative 20 and drop the shadows to negative 3 so as to make all the colors in the frame deeper and richer in tone. Let's top off this color boost with an increase in vibrance and saturation, as well as a shift in the tint to negative 4 to remove some of the harsh magenta coming through, thereby making the skin look more natural. 
So let's group everything together and take a look at a before and after. And so this is just one way that we can color grade our images by adjusting each individual color separately and subtly and then enhancing all colors in frame at once using the camera raw filter. Okay, so we've talked about how to match skin tones across multiple body parts. Now it's time to learn how to create more even and consistent skin color within specific areas of your model's body, such as fixing small patches of a regular color on your model's face. And so all you need to do is create a new blank layer or hit Command plus Shift plus N on your keyboard and hit OK. Now, let's first target and fix this red patch of skin right between the eyebrows. Notice that this red patch is located within a mid-tone section on Sarah's face. So what we're going to do first and foremost is hit I for the eyedropper tool and select an unaffected area of skin also located within a mid-tone section. Once selected, let's hit B for the brush tool, make sure it's soft, change the blending mode to hue, and then simply start to dab the brush over the affected red area. Feel free to repeat these steps for all the red patches around the nose and cheeks. So let's take a look at a before and after. And so this is just one way that we can deal with irregular patches of color in the skin to create a cleaner and more flattering portrait image.